is really not a Trinidadian thing. It's a Guyanese thing. The buck is supposed to be a little creature that you can control to do a lot of evil things that you want to do. Mainly like destroying people. So there will be a little man with sharp teeth and maybe claws. And you have to feed him at certain times, fixed times, to keep him under your control. So usually they kept him in a bottle. If he ever got out of that bottle and was not fed at the time, he would turn on anybody, including the person who formerly owned him. The book is a thing now. You have to get a young person, 18 years, 19 years, or 20 years. So these box in the night, they have a special room that I would put the box in there and get this woman and put the woman inside of, inside of that room. So the buck will come now and cohabit with the girl because that is what they love plenty and that's why they could do anything for you. Any evil thing, I could get the buck to do it. People who are wealthy or become suddenly wealthy, there's a lot of suspicion about them. How do they suddenly accumulate all of this wealth? And there is a common belief that some of them would be minding a buck, which they believe um, would be brought from either Suriname or Guyana. And it's a commonality uh, spanning a lot of traditions, both Indian and African, that you have to feed these creatures with cigarettes, punch and rum, white punch and rum, and the salted biscuits. And this buck will bring you great wealth and, and sudden wealth, wealth very quickly. In Guyana, we, call, we, we speak of these people as bakus, but the baku, however, had to be fed. And you had to feed the baku. This is the Guyanese version, and um, a diet of bananas and milk. And if you ran out of bananas and milk, you were in trouble because the baku would then turn against you. This is a kind of myth, very much like the Faustian myth, where you make a commitment with a demon or a devil. The devil is going to do whatever you want and you will live a life of comfort, of ease, of wealth, so long as you can keep your part of the bargain. The Baku seems to be a, a reduced version of that devil figure. In Guyana, um, when people speak of a buck, they are talking about an Amerindian of whatever, whatever tribe. So the box, I mean, and it's a, a pejorative term, really. I mean, probably taken from America, where it was used in nearly the same way. And this book about box, they were talking about the, the native Guyanese people. In Ghana, because Ghana is a place with high woods, when black people escaped from slavery and went into the forest to hide, the British authorities would send the Amerindians to hunt them down. Now the black people running and hiding in the bush. The Amerindian living in the bush. 